Welcome to our channel. My name is Sophie and I'm the co-founder of The Living House. We're an affordable online interior design company that design beautiful homes for families that are within their budget. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to design a kid's small bedroom. Now, small bedrooms come with challenges, especially a kid's room, because you want to maximize storage, you want to make it fun for them, it needs to grow with them as they grow up. You want it to be great for when they're little, but also when they're older, they might have homework to do, you want a desk space. There's so many things to think about, but we're going to help you and share lots of our top tips in this video. Make sure you stick around for tip five because it is not one to be missed and it will really help when you're designing your kid's small bedroom. You need to make the most out of the height in any small room, especially in a kid's room where you're trying to fit lots in. So you need to think vertically and think up. What can I do to make the most out of the heights in the room? And this is where cabin beds come in perfectly. They are also called high sleepers. Obviously you've got bunk beds, mid sleepers, and cabin beds. So there's quite a few names for them depending on where you're looking. So that's one thing to remember. But you need to use every inch of the space. So this is where using the height comes in perfectly. And with cabin beds, which I'll move on to later as well, but you've got space underneath. So you've got the storage space, a desk space. There's lots that can be happening and it's not taking up more floor space with other furniture. Also look at the walls. So floating shelves for books, for storage baskets, really look and see the room with the height as well, not just what's on the floor and you'll make the most of the space then too. Cabin beds are a great option when you're limited on floor space. Some cabin beds are multifunctional as well, so they'll have a pull-out desk underneath, storage underneath, some may have steps and then storage either side. There's so many options and there's some really cool and fun ones out there too that your children will love and you should like the design of as well. Depending on the age of your child, you could have it as a desk for arts and crafts and then as they get older, so it will grow with them, a place to their homework. And you could look at cabin beds with dens underneath. So if you don't need somewhere for storage within the bed, there are some really cool um, beds that have got like a curtain below. So it can be like a cool, cozy space for them or for them to play. Of course, you could still put a bit of storage underneath as well. Some beds that we found that we really like is one from Noah and Nanny called the Lottie Bed. And then from Room to Grow, the Fort Bed. And these are both like more of a den style, but there are so many out there. So definitely look at cabin beds because it will save so much floor space. I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos every single week and we'd hate for you to miss out. Under bed storage. Under the bed can easily become quite cluttered because let's face it, whether it's a children's bedroom or an adult's bedroom, we'll easily throw stuff under the bed and think about it for another day. So you want to implement storage that can be packed away neatly and sometimes you don't even know it's there. So we love this IKEA drawer storage set and it's on wheels so you can easily pull it out from under the bed. And what we love about it is it's multifunctional so you can put clothes, toys underneath and then you can display some pretty books on the outside, some soft toys, some lovely toys, but you can make it a bit more of a display and it's storage as well. So it's really multifunctional and even pull it out as a bedside table if you wanted to for your little one too. Another option is storage baskets. So if you want to add a bit more of a natural texture into the room with seagrass or rattan baskets, but make sure they have a lid because otherwise it can look cluttered again when you can see everything out on display. You can get ones that neatly pack away under the bed, almost look like a suitcase, I guess. And this one in particular is from John Lewis, but places like Dunalm also do these, which are really affordable too. Use a rug to create a play area within your child's bedroom. Now, just because you're tight on space doesn't mean that you can't create a dedicated play area. Go for a large rug because the when it's a small room, you want to go for larger pieces such as rugs and artwork to make it feel bigger and it tricks the eye. And rugs are a really simple way to create a play area within your kid's bedroom. Go for something that's big and soft so it's nice underfoot and try to avoid anything that's too deep like the shaggy rugs or the deep pile rugs because you'll find bits in them and they're hard to just maintain and keep clean I think but also if it's a flat weave it's easier for your child to play with their I don't know cars any other toys that they have a couple of brands that we like are ruggable being one so they're washable which is a big bonus so you don't have to be too precious about the rug and also Benito and Laradoot. So go as well with something that's patterned, so it's a bit more forgiving, 
all the other option is washable. But those are some affordable brands, especially Laradu, they have some lovely designs that we would go to for your kids' rug. Be bold with your colour and paint choices in the room. In a kid's bedroom, you can really be bold and have fun with colour and pattern. And one paint technique we particularly like is colour blocking because it's a really fun and easy way to transform the room, create a statement, make a feature, and it works so well in children's bedrooms. And it doesn't need to be a big room either, it works perfectly in smaller bedrooms. So the paint can be used to zone an area, um, to create a cosy nook in the room. So for instance, it could be like this, where it's used to zone the bed and it creates more of a um, cocooning effect, like a cosy feel. Or it could be, if you want to be a bit more brave and bold, you could go above and over the ceiling. That always looks really cool and creates a really fun kid's bedroom, just like this one here. So we love how it's got the deep, rich blue above and it creates a bit of a darker mood feel, but you've got it broken up with the sticker wall decals for football themed. So there's really a lot of ways you could go with the colour blocking and we just think it's a perfect technique for a kid's bedroom. Built-in storage is a great solution when you have a smaller space because you want to make use of every inch of the space and sometimes freestanding furniture just doesn't cut it because you can't get the exact size you need or the exact design you need. So with it being built in, it can be truly bespoke and fit within the space perfectly. For instance, if you've got, I don't know, a chimney breast in the room, you've got the alcoves either side, which can be quite tricky to fit furniture in. So go for bespoke and fitted furniture. This could be a wardrobe, a desk, toy storage, a mix of all three things. But when you are doing built-in furniture, please try and make it future-proof because obviously it costs more than freestanding. You don't really want to make any changes to it anytime soon. So choose designs that are going to grow with your child and go for painted furniture because you can refresh it as they grow with simply repainting it as you redecorate the room, change the handles, if it's a wardrobe, chest of drawers, anything really. You can really make it work as the child grows. Create a cosy reading area in your children's bedroom. So with this, even though it's a small room, it doesn't mean you can't create zones within it. And that being a cosy nook for them to chill, for them to read their books, maybe it's the space where you'll do the bedtime stories, somewhere that's just separate and feels like a cosy space for them. So with this, think how you can use the walls. So you can display the books on the walls with shelving, picture shelves. There are some great hacks out there. So Ikea to the spice um, rack, the wooden one that people use a lot and display books in there. Or I found Habitat have got a great wall mounted bookshelf. I think there's four shelves in total and it's really affordable and would look great on the wall. You could put some soft cuddly toys in there too to mix it up a bit. So you've got a couple of accessories with the books and get a comfy bean bag, a round rug, and that will complete the look. And you can layer up the rugs as well. So if you've already got a rug in the room, add another one, a round one, just to zone that area and just make it a really nice, special, cozy corner for them. Make the toys decorative. So because the room is small, you're probably lacking storage space and that is going to be an issue. So with your child's favorite toys, with ones that are a bit special, that look really pretty, like the wooden toys that you get now, some soft cuddly toys, Think about how they can be used as display items, as if they're accessories in your living room. So think about using wall baskets, they're a rattan ones or fabric ones now that you can hang on the wall and place some lovely soft cuddly toys inside. Or one particular idea that I really loved that I discovered on Pinterest is if your child loves cars, then this one is great. So it's magnetic strips that you attach to the wall and then you can place the cars on top and obviously put magnets on the cars. And it just looks quite fun and a bit different. Um, I hadn't seen it before, so I really love this idea on Pinterest. So if you have a car lover, this will be great. Or this simple shelf display. So again, it could be cars, it could be something else that your child's into, but it would look really fun and cool on the walls. Use large scale patterns in your child's small bedroom because in any small room, you don't want to just go for small scale patterns because it will make it look smaller. You want to go for the larger prints and you want to use a mix and create that balance and get it right. So for instance, the curtains or blind fabric could be a large scale print. The wallpaper, if you're going for wallpaper, that could be a large um, print. Or if you're going for wall decals, maybe go for larger ones rather than the small ones and mix it up. So as I said, the 
curtain or blind fabric could be a large scale print along with the wallpaper and then the cushions and the bedding could be a smaller scale so you've got that mix and balance between everything that's going on in the room if you're going for a wallpaper with that being said don't go for a feature wall on the smallest wall because that is going to narrow it in and make it feel smaller choose the largest wall in the room to put a mural or a wallpaper on it because it will make the room feel larger and trick the eye. Multifunctional furniture works brilliantly in a child's small bedroom because when you're tight on space, you need to really double up pieces. So for instance, instead of a bedside table, it could be a chest of drawers that are next to your child's bed. And then you've got the storage, but also a table for them to put their drink on, a reading lamp, a night light. All this could be the same with the desk. If you need a desk more than a bedside table, you can place that next to the bed and pop a lamp on again for a reading light or night light. And one particular piece of furniture that I've found um, after having a good search is this piece from The Great Little Trading Company. So it's a seat with a comfy seat pad, but also storage underneath for books and toys. So when you're designing the room, think about how, instead of what you'd normally go for in an adult's bedroom, a bedside table, think a bit more and how it could be a chest of drawers or another piece of furniture that's gonna have multiple uses. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned lots of tips that you can use in your kid's small bedroom. We'd love to know what you would like to hear from us. So tell us in the comments below if there's a certain room, topic, anything that you'd like us to cover. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos every single week and we'd hate for you to miss out.